Hello, everyone, and welcome to another game from the 2016 Minnesota Twins Stratomatic Advanced Replay. Today is game 125 between the home team Minnesota Twins and the visiting Detroit Tigers. Pitching for the Tigers today will be Anibal Sanchez, and pitching for the Twins is Kyle Gibson. And we'll just go ahead and get started as with the lineups as we go where everybody plays. And leading off for the Tigers is Ian Kinsler. And that's hit into the gap. And he gets all the way to the wall. And Kinsler is on his way to second with a stand-up double. So Ian Kinsler rips one to the gap, and he just gets into second base with a leadoff double. And here is the shortstop, Eric Ibar. And that's also hitting the gap, but this time it's cut off by uh, Danny Santana. But Kinsler rounds third and heads home, and the Tigers get out to a 1-0 lead. And here is the first baseman, Miguel Cabrera. That's a ground ball to the shortstop. Over, that's a Polanco over to Dozier. On to Maurer, and we'll call it two. So, ground ball double play clears the bases with two outs. With the Tigers up one nothing, And just at the right time as Victor Martinez rips a single to right. He is the designated hitter today. And that brings up the right fielder, J.D. Martinez. And they will not hold uh, Martinez on. That's a deep fly ball to the center field, but plenty of room for Eddie Rosario as he puts it away, and that retires the side. Uh, the Twins get a run on three hits, and going into the bottom of the first, it's the Tigers one and the Twins nothing. And here is Anibal Sanchez finish, finishing up his warm-up tosses, and he will face the Twins second baseman, Brian Dozier. And three, he goes down on strikes. And here is Jorge Polanco, the switch hitter, batting left-handed. And that's a base hit just past the second baseman. As you can see with the six there. All right, and here is the first baseman, Joe Maurer. They will, they will not hold Polanco on. And that's a fly ball to medium deep center field, but plenty of room for Cameron Maben. And that's two away in the bottom of the first with the Tigers leading 1 0. And here is the third baseman, Trevor Plouf. And he hits a line smash right to Cabrera, snags it, and then it ends the bottom half of the first. And we go to the top half of the second, where it is the Tigers 1 and the Twins nothing. And now batting the left fielder, Justin Upton. And Upton watches strike three as he goes down on strikes. And here is the third baseman, Casey McGee. Or Casey McGee. Uh, and that's a tough play for the shortstop. Uh... Here is Jorge Polanco. Can he make the play? Yes, he will. Nice diving stop by Polanco. Throws to Maurer, and that's two away here in the top half of the second inning with the Tigers leading 1-0. And that's a ground ball to the third baseman. That is Trevor Plouffe over to Maurer, and the side is retired in order. And we go to the bottom half of the second inning. It's the Tigers one and the Twins nothing. And here is the right fielder, Max Kepler, who just hit three home runs against the Indians in real life. That's a ground ball to Kinsler over to Cabrera, and that's one away. And here is Miguel Sano, the designated hitter. 
And that's a base hit to left field. So it sneaks by between the third baseman and the shortstop. Well, they will not hold Sano on. So the Twins have their second base runner today. And here is Eddie Rosario, the uh, center fielder. And he looks at strike three as he goes down on strikes. And here is the catcher, Juan Centeno. And that's a that's ring that goes into the gap. And Centeno, actually, Centeno will hit second. He'll go to third. And. With Upton's not so great arm, they will send him the throw to the plate is not in time. Sano slides under the tag and the Tigers come out and challenge it, but they find that Sano did just barely touch the plate. They were not holding him on with, and with two outs, he got just enough of a jump to score from first. So, so Juan Centeno with an RBI double ties the game at one. And Sano getting a nice high five in the dugout for his great hustle and great jump off the crack of the bat. And this is Danny Santana, the left fielder. And Santana will rip, he rips one to the gap. And that gets down all the way, that hits off the top of the wall. Sentinel rounds, hits third, and he will score easily. And the Twins take a 2-1 to one lead. As back-to-back -back doubles have uh, given the Twins a lead. And the Bluebirds and the, the, uh, the Happy Twins fans are very happy. And the, the Tigers fans back home are not very happy. And Dozier strikes out to end the inning, his second strikeout of the day. However, the Twins score two runs on three hits and take a two-to-one lead going into the top half of the third. And here is uh, the center fielder Cameron Mabin batting ninth. And Kyle Gibson comes out with a two-to-one lead now. That's a ground ball to the shortstop Polanco over to Maurer, and that's one away in the top half of the third. And here is the second baseman, Ian Kinsler. He doubled and scored his first time up. And that's a ground ball to the shortstop Polanco again. Over to first, and that's two away here in the top of the third with the Twins leading two to one. And Ibar is patient here on a 3-1 count and watches it go wide for ball four. And they will not hold him on. And here is Miguel Cabrera with two outs and a runner on first. That's a ground ball to Polanco. Gee, if we didn't hear that this inning. He throws it to first. And that retires the side for the Tigers here in the third. And we go to the bottom half of the third with the Twins leading 2-1. to one. And here is the shortstop, Jorge Polanco. He singled his first time up. And Polanco is strikeout victim number four as he goes down on strikes. And here is Joe Maurer. He flew out the center field his first time up. And that's a single to right field as he smacks it right between uh, Cabrera and Kinsler. And the Twins have a one-out base runner, and they will not hold him on. And Plouffe hits a high pop straight up. Uh, Ibar waves everybody off and makes the catch, and that's two away here in the second inning. And there is a runner on first with two outs with the Twins leading two to one. And that's a tough play for Kinsler. 
No, it's not. Sorry, looked at the wrong side. Kinsler doesn't get it in foul territory. And we go to a 3-2 count, and that is ball four. So Kepler draws a two-out walk. And that brings up Miguel Sano with runners on first and second with two outs and a chance to kind of rip this one open. And he does not as he swings and misses at strike three. And the tw Twins are gone here in the third. We go to the top half of the fourth with the Twins leading two to one. And here is Victor Martinez. He singled his first time up. And that's a base hit right up the middle. So Martinez is two for two on the day. Victor, that is. And here is J.D. Martinez. He flew out his first time up. And that ball is high, deep, and all uh, Kepler can do is... Actually, all uh, Santana can do is watch it go. Home run, J.D. Martinez, and the Tigers go back on top three to two. And that brings up Justin Upton. He struck out his first time up. And that's a fly ball to medium deep left field, and that is caught. So uh, Gibson not exactly fooling anybody here in the, the fourth inning. However, he did fool McGee. He pops one into foul territory, third base side. Ploof has room and makes the catch, and that's two away here in the top half of the fourth with the Tigers now leading three to two. And here's James McCann. He grounded out his first time up. Not this time. Base hit left field. Rounding and heading back is McCann, and the Tigers have a two-out base runner. And here's Cameron Mabin. He uh, grounded out his first time up. And that's a ground ball to the third baseman, uh, Ploof, over to Maurer, and that retires the side. However, the Tigers get two on the Martinez two-run homer. And after three and a half, it's the Tigers three and the Twins two. And here is Eddie Rosario leading off the bottom half of the fourth. And Rosario goes down on strikes as, as he swings and misses at a curveball. And here is one Centeno. He doubled home Miguel Sano his first time up. And he grounds one into the hole. Great play by Cabrera. Throws to Sanchez covering, and that's two away as he gets Centeno. And here is Danny Santana. He doubled home Centeno his last time up. And on a one-two pitch, Santana swings at one in the dirt as McCann tags him out for the third out. And that ends the bottom half of the fourth. We go to the top half of the fifth. The Tigers lead three to two. And here is Ian Kinsler. He is one for two on the day with a double and a run scored. And that's a line smash. Nice stop by Ploof as he grabs it in the air. And here is Eric Ibar. He is one for one today with a single and a walk. And that's a base hit up the base hit the left field. So Ibar is two for two on the day. A little unexpected offense from him. And here is Miguel Cabrera, 0 for 2 on the day, grounding out the short both times. The first one resulted in a double play. And that's a tough play for Maurer. He gets to it, throw, actually, 
He throws the second for one. Back to first, not in time. As Cabrera gets back on a slow developing play. And the Tigers have a runner out first with two down here in the top half of the fifth with, with the Tigers leading three to two. And here is Victor Martinez. And that's a ground ball to Maurer, a little bit easier play. He'll take it to the bag himself. And the Tigers are done here in the top half of the fifth. And we go to the bottom half of the fifth with the score, the Tigers three and the Twins two. And the Tigers will keep an eye on Anibal Sanchez as he's usually not been too good after about the, at about the fifth inning, but we will see. And Dozier hits one, the center field, and it is caught by Cameron Maben. And at least Dozier got the bat on the ball this time. He is now 0 for 3 with two strikeouts. And here is Jorge Polanco, 1 for 2 on the day. And Polanco goes down on strikes again. And that is... The seventh strikeout for Anibal Sanchez. Wow. And here is Joe Maurer. He is one for two on the day. And a nice diving stop by Ibar as he prevents that from getting through. And we go to the top half of the sixth inning. The Tigers lead three to two. Sanchez might hurt himself another inning after that mess. Okay, and this is usually the point where we'll start watching for Kyle Gibson. He's, he's in his third time through the order. In fact, this might be it for him. And that is on a 3-1 pitch. He throws it high, and, Mar and J.D. Martinez takes first. He homered his last time up. And here is Justin Upton, and we will get Michael Tonkin loosening in the pen. And he is, and Upton, here's Justin Upton, and he strikes out for the second time today. He goes down swinging. And here is Casey McGee. 0 for 2 on the day. That's a ground ball to second baseman. In the hole, he gets it. Dozier, however, his only play is the first, and Martinez takes second. So great play by Dozier. He does get the one out, but that puts a runner in scoring position for with two outs for Brian for James McCann. Sorry, Brian McCann was with somebody else in 2016, and that's a line drive right to the shortstop, makes the catch, and that retires the side here in the sixth. And that'll probably be it for Gibson as he's the third time through the order. And that, we go to the bottom half of the sixth. The Tigers lead 3-2. to two. And here is Trevor Plouffe, 0 for 2 today. A line out and a pop out. And that's a base hit the left field. So a leadoff single for uh, the Twins. And the Tigers will get Alex Wilson loosening in the pen. And that goes to the second baseman, Kinsler. It's a tough play. But he gets it. Ranges over, gets it, flips to Ibar. Over to Cabrera. And we'll call it two. So Max Kepler hits one in the hole, but Kinsler makes a nice stop, throws it to Ibar, and over to first for two. And this is a tough play for Cabrera. He goes into the hole. He gets it, throws it to first, the pitcher covering, and that'll retire the side here in the bottom half of the six. Uh, no runs on a hit, and we go to the top half of the seventh, and that'll be it for Kyle Gibson. We will bring in Michael Tonkin.
So we'll close the book on um, Gibson. He went six innings, giving up three runs. And that will be up to Michael Tonkin to keep this a one-run ball game. As he will face Cameron Maben, Ian Kinsler, and Eric Ibar. And here's Tonkin against Maben. Tough play for Plouffe. He goes into the hole. And he knocks it down. Can he make the can he make the play to first? He, oh, he pulls uh, Mauer off the base. And Maben reaches on an error. So a little bit of a tough play. He got the ball, but throws wildly to first. And they will charge Ploof with an error. And up a run. They will hold uh, Maven on, but he is going to, they are going to give him the steal sign, and he's off with the pitch, the throw, and he is safe. So Cameron Maven has stolen second with Ian Kinsler up with a, on a 1-0 on a pitch, he steals second base. And here is Ian Kinsler with a runner on second. And that's a shot right to the third baseman, but he makes the play. And that's one out here in the top half of the seventh. And here's Eric Ibar, two for two on the day with a walk. Not this time. Fly ball to medium deep center field. Rosario has it, and Maben will stay right there at second base. So there's two outs here in the top half of the seventh. And the pitch to Cabrera, the one-two count, and he swings and misses. Strike three. So we go to the bottom half of the seventh. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out with the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and cracker jacks. I don't care if I never get back for its root, root, root for the twins. If they don't want it's a shame. For its one, two, three strikes, you're out at the old ball game. Hey. All right. And Animal Sanchez will come out for the seventh. They probably He's on a very short leash. Alex Wilson will, is ready when needed. And that is right now. As Eddie Rosario takes one high and deep, and Upton goes back to the wall and watches it go. Home run for Eddie Rosario. And you wonder if maybe they left him in just a batter too long. All right, here comes the manager, and he meant he motions for Alex Wilson to come on in. Sanchez did not pitch a terrible game, but the home run ball just caught up with them. And the game is now tied at three as Wilson finishes his warm-up tosses. All right, so here is Wilson to face one Centeno. That's a ground ball right back to the bottom. Actually, it comes up the, the third baseline. And Wilson will make the play at first. Or make the throw to first. And he is out, I should say. And here is Danny Santana. He is one for two on the day. With an RBI. And Santana swings and misses on a 2-2 pitch. And he is down on strikes. And here is Brian Dozier. He is 0 for 3 on the day with two strikeouts. And that's a base hit right up the middle. So Wilson has given up his first hit of the day. And the Twins are, have a runner on first with two down here in the... The bottom half of the seventh with the, the score tied at three. 
Here's the shortstop, Jorge Polanco, one for three on the day with two strikeouts. And that's a play for Kinsler in the hole. And he gets it. Plants his feet, throws, and he gets Polanco by half a step. Great play by Kinsler with his great range. However, the solo home run by Eddie Rosario has tied the game at three. And Michael Tonkin has been lifted while we were watching the Tigers bat. Pat Light was loosening in the pen. And he will now come into pitch for the Twins. So Pat Light, the righty, he was just called up today. And he is a right-hander. And he will face Victor Martinez, J.D. Martinez, and Justin Upton as he continues his warm-up tosses as we speak. Okay. And here is Pat Light against Victor Martinez. He's finished his warm-up tosses, and all parties are ready, and they, we are back from commercial. And that's a ground ball to Dozier. In the hole. And he will make the play as he ranged over towards second. Throws on, throws away from his, throw, throws towards first, going towards second, and he gets him by a step. So great play by Dozier. Gets the first out here in the top half of the eighth. And we go, uh, we will face J.D. Martinez. And Martinez hits one in the hole. Maurer gets it. Throws it to light covering. And that is two away here in the top half of the eighth with the score tied at three. And here is Justin Upton against Pat Light. And that's a deep fly ball to... Oops, that was a five. The left field, however, plenty of room for Santana. And he makes the catch. As the, the Tigers go down one, two, three here in the top half of the eighth, and we will get uh, JT Shagwa loosening in the pen. And the Tigers will have Kyle Ryan come into the game as we go to the top, the bottom half of the eighth, and Kyle Ryan will. Continue his warm-up tosses. And here we go in the bottom half of the eighth. Tied at three, a lefty-lefty matchup. And Maurer swings at the knee cheese, and he is down on strikes. So one-two pitch down and in, couldn't quite get it. And here is Trevor Plouffe. Uh, he is one for three on the day with a single. And Ploof also goes down on a 1-2 pitch. So Kyle Ryan has come in and done a gotten two strikeouts. And here is Max Kepler. And Kepler finishes the trifecta of strikeouts as he as Ryan strikes out the side. And we go to the top half of the ninth, tied at three. And Light will be sent to the showers. And now pitching will be J.T. Shagwa. And he will face uh, McGee, McCann, and Maben. Well, we might have a pinch hitter for... Do we want to use... Now I think we'll, we might uh, save... Uh, McGee's uh, poor defense for later. So as Shagwa finishes his warm-up tosses, he will be the third reliever today for the Twins. And we get we will get started here at the in the top half of the ninth, tied at three. And McGee hits a fly ball to mediums. Uh, 
medium left field. That is caught by Santana, and that's one away here in the top half of the ninth. And here is James McCann. And that's a ground ball into the, into the hole. It's gloved by Maurer over to first, and that's two away here in the top half of the ninth. And here is Cameron Mabin. And that's a fly ball. Uh, Rosario on the run. And he dives and makes the catch. Great play by Rosario. And the Tigers go down in order here in the ninth. And Kyle Ryan will come out for the ninth. And we will get Justin Wilson. Now we'll have Shane Green loosening in the pen. And Ryan must have the pitch going because Sano swings at one in the dirt for strike three as he gets tagged out at the plate. And here is uh, Eddie Rosario. And that's a play for the, the right fielder. It's hit in the gap. And... Oh, what a play as Martinez, J.D. Martinez runs it down as he just gets the glove on it and makes the catch. And here is uh, Juan Centineo. And he goes down on strikes. So Kyle Ryan pitches two innings and strikes out four five of the six batters he faces. And we are now going to bonus baseball as Chagua will be lifted for Pat Dean, as I'm sure that some of us, some of us uh, long relievers might now start coming in. All right, so Pat Dean will now come in as he finishes his warm-up tosses. All right, and here's Ian Kinsler, one for four on the day. And that's a hot smash right to Ploof, and he snags it for the first out. And here is Eric Ibar. He is uh, two for three on the day. And that's a ground ball right to Maurer. Takes it to the bag himself, and that's two away here in the top half of the 10th. And we go to Miguel Cabrera. And that's a base hit to left field between uh, Polanco and Ploof. And the Tigers have the a run, runner on with two outs here in the 10th. And here is uh, Victor Martinez. And... And poor planning, they did not get a pinch runner. So Cabrera, that's that's down the line. It rattles around. He hits second, goes to third. They were not holding him on. And, there, and he got a great jump off the bat. Uh, no, they will hold him at third. So not great planning by the manager. Is Probably should have had someone in running for him, but you want his bat. So there are runners on second and third with two outs. And here is uh, J.D. Martinez. He homered for his only hit today. He is one for three with a walk. And that's a tough play for the shortstop. Polanco. And he cannot get to it. 
as it gets by Polanco. In from third is Cabrera. He will score. Rounding third and heading home is uh, Victor Martinez, and he is safe. As uh, J.D. Martinez has driven in four runs today on two base hits. And here is Justin Upton, and Francisco Rodriguez will be loosening in the pen in earnest to try to complete the save in the bottom half of the 10th. And Upton grounds one right to Maurer, takes it to the bag himself. And the Tigers get two in the top half of the 10th, and they now lead it 5-3. to three. And Francisco Rodriguez will come in the game after two great innings by Kyle Ryan. And here is... We will have a pinch hitter for Danny Santana, and it will be Robbie Grossman who will bat for uh, Santana. So, pinch hitting for the Twins, Robbie Grossman. And Grossman will, if the game continues to the 10th inning, will uh, stay in the game and play left field. So we will have uh, Francisco Rodriguez uh, at the mound. And we will get this uh, bottom half of the 10th inning started. And here is Rodriguez against Grossman. And that's a fly ball to center field. Maven tracks it down, and that's one away here in the bottom half of the 10th. And here is Brian Dozier. That's a play for uh, McCann. He lets one go to the backstop, but with nobody on, it doesn't mean anything. And high pop right in front of the plate. McCann throws the mask off. And squeezes it for the second out. And the last hope for the Twins is Jorge Polanco. And once again, another play for McCann. Yeah, okay. No! McCann fields it and throws it down the line. That's an error on McCann, and that brings up Joe Maurer. And not, they were hoping to get a 1-2-3 inning, but now they have to face the dangerous contact hitter in Maurer. And Maurer gets on top of one, pounds it into the ground, right to Ibar. He throws to first, and that's your ball game. Final score from Target Field, we have the Tigers 5 and the Twins 3. All right, so that the Twins now fall to 54 and 71 on the season, uh, they will only need five more wins the rest of the season to match their win total, as odd as that may sound. But, hey, maybe they're playing more like the 2017 Twins than the 2016 Twins. All right, we'll go over with a quick recap. Anibal Sanchez was your starter for the Tigers and Kyle Gibson for the Twins. Uh, the Tigers would get out in the first inning, double by Ian Kinsler, and then Eric Ibar singles to bring him home. That made it 1-0. Uh, uh, Twins would take the lead in the bottom half of the second. Uh, single by, well, not single by Miguel Sano, and he scores on a two-out double by Juan Centeno. And then Danny Santana doubles him home, and that made it 2-1. to one. Uh, The Tigers would retake the lead when J.D. Martinez hit a two-run homer in the top of the fourth. Uh, the Twins would tie the game in the bottom of the seventh. Home, uh, Eddie Rosario with a home run off of Anibal Sanchez finishing his day. However, the Tigers would, and it would remain tied through 
uh, quote unquote regulation. And we go to extras and in the top of the 10th inning, a two out single by JD Martinez, who gets our player of the game. He goes two for four with a walk with four RBIs and Kyle Ryan with two excellent innings, uh, striking out five of the six batters he faced gets the win. Uh, Francisco Rodriguez, K-Rod gets the save. Pet Bean, who struggled through the top of the 10th, gets the loss. All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this non-dice call-out game. It seemed it went a lot quicker than what I usually uh, do. So I think I might continue this. I'm sorry if you guys like what the dice rolls being called out. All right, uh, if you like what, what you've seen today, if you're first time, please remember to hit that like button. And if you like what you see and you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe and then hit that bell icon and you'll be notified of any new videos. The next game on the TriFan879 YouTube channel will be... Uh, the first, the second game of a three-game series against the, the Blue Jays. Irvin Santana will face Marcus Stroman in Rogers Center. All right. So this is TribeFan879 saying thank you for watching. And whatever games you are playing, may your games be lively and your games be good. Have a good night, everybody.